This is a short clip from today's podcast episode. All right. So tell us a little bit of what you guys do, who you do it for, where you do it. Yeah. Uh, excellent. So I, uh, I, I wrote a book called The Sales Boss. So I've been in the world of helping companies build, build sales organizations and their people and their processes. And a number of years ago, I came across a company called Perception Predict. Uh, at the time, they were based out of Australia. And it's a great story. The gal that started it grew up in Taiwan, literally in a rice paddy, no running water, no electricity, first of her family to go to college. And she is an amazing data scientist, IO psychologist. Wow. And she was doing something uniquely different. You've heard of the world of like behavior assessments, right? Like personality sure. profiles. So you can think about it like that, but think of it on steroids where she had done the, looked at all of the academic research coming out of universities and created 450 different psychographic measurements that we can measure reliably. But she took it a line further and said, it doesn't really matter, you know, if I can measure that somebody has grit or they're determined or, you know, any of the things you can measure. What a business owner cares about is, are they going to do the job and will they stick and stay in that role? And so she was, we didn't have a lot of clients at the time, but had companies like Mercedes Benz, CrowdStrike, nice reputable names. And she was ingesting actual performance data. So think go in and survey a thousand people get a good mm -hmm. psychographic profile, what makes up, what makes them tick, and then get actual data, like how much were they selling, what's their customer satisfaction, and nice. building this in an algorithm to say, what are the 18 items or 10 items that if you mm -hmm. measure this in somebody, you can guess at their performance. So she would say, this person's going to sell 50 cars or they'll sell 250,000 a quarter. And getting to within 15 to 20% between actual and predicted pre-hire blew my mind. Uh, so I got involved in the company as an equity partner. So it's myself and the two founders. We They were based in Australia at the time. They've since moved to the US, landed in Georgia. They have migrated and gotten married, by the way, to Florida. Uh -huh. And we've been building these models to help improve companies hiring and usually large companies because you got to have lots of data. And over the last 18 months, we started moving into how can we do this for smaller companies, home service type companies. So think HVAC, plumbing, electrical, cleaning, landscaping. We did a project for Tommy Mello with garage doors. Perfect. And so we're now uh, through the product Who Hire, allowing small companies to come in and still have predictions around their really high turnover roles like dispatchers, right. you know, technicians, customer success roles. Anyway, so that's the work we're in, having a lot of fun doing it. And really drastically driving down that turnover rate and training time that companies experience. That's awesome.